for keeping me and sustaining me. And I'm pretty sure all of you out there the same thing. But I, again, I just want to encourage you. Now let me start off with a word here. Uh, for those that are out there, amen. And in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 19 says, To know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, amen, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Again, to know the love of Christ, my brothers and sisters, which passes knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Amen. Also, to be filled with the fullness of God. And I think of that, I, I don't know if some of you out there have seen, I put some videos and I know that sometimes life can, uh, not sometimes, a lot of times, <laughs> Uh, things could not work out the way we planned, but you know, we got to keep striving. We got to keep up the good fight. We got to keep moving forward in the things of God and staying activated. Uh, that's the most important thing that I can, you know, that's helped me. And all I could do is be a witness to that. That has helped me to, to keep me going uh, through the good times and the bad times. To just stay active and when you don't know what to do with them, just meditate on the Word of God, but also remember it's not just knowing the Word of God is applying it into your life. And I say that sincerely, and I just want to encourage everyone because, you know, God is pure, and, and that's the most important thing, that He never changes. We go through changes, and but His relationship with us never changes, and I thank God every day for that that I'm still, you know, trying to perfect his word into my life. Now, and I know that a lot of you are out there, and you know, you know that it was through Christ and through his grace and through his mercy that we can all say hallelujah, thank you, Lord, for just being in my life. Thank you, Lord, for the relationships that I do have with others that you put in my life, my family, my friends, and you know, sometimes they don't go the way we plan. Sometimes things happen, but that's all right. We got to keep having a pure heart of God. It's not, again, just speaking the word. It's living the word and active, activate that word daily in your life, especially when things uh, are not working or you might feel that things are not working or you might feel uh, that uh Whatever, let me just put it that way. I'm just going to sound it off with that. Whatever you feel, remember that we're to love and to encourage and always to build up. And that's been one of my things that has sustained me and my family and those here, uh, that we just keep moving forward and being active and not letting the circumstances dictate our emotions or things. You know, we put it in God's hands and we just keep moving forward. But, you know, I just want to share a little bit of the song. I've been working on this, and I just want to share it a little bit with you. I hope you, it encourages you. Hallelujah. Father, Lord, I just thank you today for having this opportunity of being here in, in front of the camera, Lord, Father, to share that you are uh, through my life and being active in the things that you call us all to do, just to share love, amen, and to encourage one another and to build one another. I hope I get it right a little bit here. I got a little song here, but I just want to play a little bit.
it also for you, God. Amen. I know that sometimes the load can get heavy. And sometimes we try our best. But remember, the Bible said, keep up the good fight. In due time, as we wait on the Lord, and as we continue to learn, I want to encourage you. And I ask Father in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth to touch all those that are. I watch this video now, I'll watch it later. Father, the Lord, they hear my God, Father, Lord, my heart. We all search and have a few of our heart with you, but also help us to have a few of our heart with one another. Loving.
stir in the heart of my brothers and sisters out there, Lord. Father, Lord, you give them a heart of love. Father, of peace, of forgiveness, of joy, my God. That whatever they're facing right now, Father, Lord, I pray, Father, healing in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Father, give us that pure heart, Lord, that we all long for. Just encouraging and building up, Father Lord. And we know, Father, is that also in Ephesians, Father 4, 13 says that till we all come to, to unity of the faith and to the knowledge, to the knowledge of the Son. Amen. 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 